What's up everyone, this is Ben from the Bay and in this video I'll be showcasing the top 3 best free antivirus softwares that are out completely free of charge. You guys do not have to pay a cent for these unless if you guys decide to purchase the full version. So yeah, you guys get to keep these completely free forever. Now before I get started, I'd like to explain that I made sure that these antiviruses do not hog up a lot of your CPU power or RAM which I know is common in most antivirus softwares so yeah you guys are fine in that aspect. On top of that I like to mention that the malicious file I used had a 40% detection rate meaning that roughly 22 out of 56 of the antivirus softwares tested picked up this virus including the antiviruses I showcase in this video. So yeah these are pretty credible softwares that will do the job. Now without wasting any more time let's go ahead and get started. So coming in at number 3, we have no other than Bitdefender, so let's open up this bad boy, shall we? Where the hell is it? Oh, there it is. Yeah, so this was basically my first impression of Bitdefender. I'm like, where is it? I do not see it at all on my computer. But when I look to the right hand corner of my screen, I'm like, oh, there it is. So yeah, this tiny little interface has a virus shield, which you can either turn on or off. That's self-explanatory. That's your virus protection, so you can either turn that on or off. You also have an auto scan, so whenever the program feels it's necessary to scan for a virus, it'll go ahead and do that. So you can turn that on or off as well. Now you may notice that there's no scan now button, which I kind of am against with because I know this antivirus is geared towards simplicity, but I wish I could be able to scan for viruses on my command whenever I want to. But regardless, whenever your computer comes in contact with the virus, this program will just dominate that virus and totally catch it. So yeah. You may be wondering, how is this basic software one of the top? Well that is the whole point. This antivirus is geared towards those who aren't as tech savvy, such as like a grandmother or a parent, or towards someone who could care less and just wants an antivirus straight out of the box, someone who could care less about all the other features that an antivirus may come with. So if you're one of those two people, stop the video right now and download it because this is the antivirus software for you. So coming in at number 2, we actually have AVG Antivirus, a virus protection I've used in the past before. So let's go ahead and get into it, shall we? So as you can see, here's AVG Antivirus. We actually have a user interface that we could work with as opposed to Bitdefender that did not give us much to work with. But as you can see, we can actually scan now on our command, which is pretty good. On top of that, we can also manage when we want our computer to run a scan, so whenever we may feel it's necessary for our computer to run a scan, we can go ahead and schedule a time in which it'll do so. On top of that, we can scan our whole computer, which I mean is quite self-explanatory. On top of that, we can scan for specific files or folders, so if we see a potentially malicious file and or folder, we could go ahead and take care of that. AVG will go ahead and take care of that. And on top of that, we also have an anti-rootkit scan, so if we want to scan specifically for rootkit viruses, we can go ahead and do that. You can also scan for performance issues, but in order to do this, you'll need to download AVG's own tune-up software, which I did not find as much necessary to do so, but if you guys want to go ahead and do that, you can. It scans for like registry errors and other stuff of that nature. So, but looking back into the interface, we also have web protection, which basically protects us from web-based attacks, so if we're like surfing the internet and AVG might pick up as a website is potentially malicious, it'll go ahead and block it. On top of that, we also have identity protection, so let's say if we download maybe a remote administration tool on accident that is encrypted within a file, it'll go ahead and do that because I mean that is a privacy issue. And on top of that, we have email protection, so Let's say if we have an email that could be potentially malicious and or threatening, AVG will go ahead and take care of that. So yeah, I really don't have any complaints using AVG. I used it before and it has not failed me. The only issue I had that made it deprived of being number one in my opinion was that it constantly told me to upgrade which is kind of intrusive. Like I felt it was kind of too much. Like I understand where they're coming from. They're providing this for free and they want us to upgrade. They want to make money. But I felt like it was kind of doing it a little too much, but if you can overlook that, this will be the perfect antivirus for you. So coming in at first place for the best free antivirus is Avast. So let's open it up, shall we? Now, first things first, initially I was going to choose AVG as number one, but after trying out Avast, 
Avast really just takes a cake. So as you can see, when you open up Avast at first, you're greeted with a nice, clean, modern, sleek looking user interface that is easy to navigate through for anyone of any technological background. And first things first, you have a scan. So once you click that, you can see you have several scans to choose from. You have a smart scan, which basically consists of all these five other scans. So if you want to take care of everything at once, hit the smart scan button. You also can scan for viruses, which is self-explanatory. You can also scan for browser add-ons. So let's say if you have an add-on installed on Chrome that's slowing down your system, Avast will pick it up. You can also scan for outdated software because I know like Skype and CC Cleaner, you know, softwares that consistently need updates. Sometimes you forget about it. So if you click that button, Avast will pick it up and update it for you. Now the scan for performance issues. Unfortunately, when once it scans, you have to actually pay to get these issues fixed, but that's not a big of a deal because these issues aren't that big to begin with. They're just like registry errors and stuff. That's fine. You don't guys do not have to pay for it or go out of your way to fix those. Now, here's my favorite part of Avast, the scan for network threats, which I found pretty useful and pretty neat. So let me show you guys that really quick. So what this basically does is it scans for all the devices that are currently connected to your home network, which is pretty useful because let's say your network is under attack by a hacker or whatever, it'll immediately pick up their device that they're using to connect to your network. So as you can see, it picked up my desktop, it picked up my router, and it picked up an Apple device. I'm pretty sure it's one of my parents' iPhones, which is pretty cool. This is pretty useful. So if you're ever in doubt, you can run this scan and check. Now. What's also cool about Avast is you have a passwords manager. So not only this is an antivirus, but it actually stores your password, which is a pretty, pretty useful tool in my opinion, because I have many passwords for many different websites and I always forget them. So I can store them here on Avast and I'll be safe with them too. And I'll never forget them. And if you click this cogwheel right here and click components, you also see that you have a mail shield, a web shield, and a file system shield, something that we've seen on AVG. So this is basically AVG, but with more features, and in my opinion, it's more sleek. So as I said, you have your web shield, so you can surf the web without coming across any malicious websites that can attack your computer. You also have a mail shield, just like in AVG, how it filters your emails from potentially malicious to safe. And you have a file system shield, so you can make sure that your files are safe and won't corrupt your computer when you download some. But yeah, that's basically it, you know? I think Avast is number one. It really just takes the cake, you know? But regardless of any antivirus you choose from this video, all of them are great, great options. But yeah, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I took a lot of time into making it. And comment below on what other videos you'd like to see. Would you like to see other top threes, top fives, or whatever? Thank you guys so much for saying subscribe and until next time, peace.